The other day I was watching the Aquaman movie and when I saw him flying through the water, I thought, is it actually possible to swim that fast underwater? For years I've been training like superheroes to see if what they do in the movies are possible to do in real life. So my goal is to build a suit that will make me swim fast underwater just like Aquaman. So the first thing I need to do is just see how fast I can swim by myself. Bro. This feels like ice water. Why are we filming this in December? You know Aquaman does not get cold, right? I'm not freaking Aquaman. I want to watch some cool shit. <laughs> My god, this water's freezing. I'm swimming in the freaking Arctic right now. Ah! Come on. Hop in, man. Ah! Three, two, one. Brain freeze! I gotta get in the hot tub. Ow! That's too cold and this is too hot! Oh, oh my god. That was my time. You got 18.8 seconds. Wow! It's not as bad as I thought. Now, although I was happy with my time, Aquaman swims way faster than that. So I had two things on my mind. One, I need to stay in this hot tub a bit longer so I don't freeze to death. And two, I need a plan to reach Aquaman's swimming speed. So I headed to the drawing board to engineer a way to swim faster. I have an idea. My idea is to find some type of pulley system that I can hang on to and it'll pull me fast through the water. So after around an hour of searching on Amazon, I found these jets that you can hold on to. The problem is they cost about $400 each. But if it helps you swim faster, it's worth it. Bro. Bro. What in the world? Look at that. Looks like a torpedo. This is like kind of gnarly looking. I wonder how it works. It sounded like, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> So I spent the next 30 minutes trying to figure out how to even connect the handle to the jet. Oh, look at that. So apparently this thing has three modes. Right, hang on. Easy mode, medium mode, and turbo mode. Bro, that sounds crazy. But to be safe, we're gonna start with easy mode. Bro, this water's just not getting warmer. But after some mental preparation, I was ready to test level one. Okay, that's really <laughs> slow. Oh my god. Let's bring it to level two. Let's see. Oh, it's great. Pretty good. Is level two any better? Definitely better, but we gotta try level three. We're gonna time this one. See if it's any faster than me swimming. Three, two, one. Dang. Boy, what was the time? 19.08. Me not using my legs at all? That's not bad. So I added back to the drawing board to come up with my next plan. I'm pretty confident in this one. All right, my idea now is to take two of these jets, somehow attach them to my arms, and be able to fly through the water with both of them. And with another $400 gone, and the same day delivery doing its thing, Right. I just found the coolest freaking thing in the world. Look at this. You put it on your wrist here, close it in. I know exactly what I'm doing. That looks insane. Ow, man. I'll have this little device. We'll make it go. And with the jets attached, it was time to test idea number two. But I very fastly ran into a problem. Bro, came I had to put my wetsuit on. Whenever I threw my goggles off after that last test, completely no shattered. Way. I've never in my life seen goggles shatter. And with the pool getting only colder every minute, I needed a quick solution. <laughs> my nose is too big for him. I think that one and one is gonna be like level two was. You should do two and two, so it's four. All right, here we go. Dude, it's so cold. Oh. You almost soaked me. Here we go. It's working. That's Whoa. crazy. Oh, I have a brain freeze again. And with the second idea being a success, it was time to try turbo mode and time my swim. Your time to beat is 18 seconds. I gotta hold my breath this long. I didn't realize that. No way, 
bro. What was it? 13.3 seconds. No! Yep, you beat it. 13 seconds? And with the second idea smashing my swimming record, there was two things on my mind. One, I forgot we turned off this hot tub. It's freezing. Two, I ain't out of this. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I think Aquaman could do that faster than 13 seconds. So, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and try to find a way to make it even faster than this. Here's my idea. So now that I know that two work great on my arms, the other thing I want to test is attaching two of them to my legs. So I spent a few extra dollars and found some really cool equipment that might make this work. And this kit is like this harness. It'll attach the jets to my legs and I should be able to like fly underwater with these things attached to my legs. No way. Yeah. So I spent the next 30 minutes trying to figure out how to attach the harness securely on my legs. And also, since completely shattered my old goggles, picked up some new ones. Let's test this thing out, man. Oh, oh shoot. Test one, easy mode, with the legs. This is super slow. <laughs> I gotta go to level three. Let's see it. I have one big problem. Every time I try to turn, it like flips me over. And without being able to turn, idea number three was a fail. So I headed back to the drawing board and that's when I came up with idea 3.5, which also means I need another jet. I bought another. So now with another jet, hopefully I'll be able to steer and ideally crush my swimming record again. Your time to beat 13.3 seconds. All right, three, two, one. Wow. What is it? 11.6 seconds. Dude, no way! And as good as it was to break my record, this amount of speed caused two big problems. One, because you start going so fast, I think our pool is a little bit small. And two, because I was moving so fast with the three jets, it was very hard to move freely and turn. I needed the mobility I had before when I had two jets on my arm. And that's how I created my final idea. Four jets. And with another jet on the way, I tested my luck by calling a hotel to see if I could use their pool. Hi, yeah, I just had a question. I just built this like underwater jetpack Aquaman suit, and I was wondering if I could test it out at the pool. Uh, sorry, what was it that you want to try? It's like a underwater jetpack suit, um, kind of like Aquaman. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Bye. No way, bro. Let's go try it out. A lot bigger than our pool at our house. Yep, that's for sure. All right, before I can get in, there's one thing left to bring this entire thing together. Where's the beard? I couldn't grow one, and they were sold out on Amazon when I bought the costume. Now as I'm suiting up and about to test this real life Aquaman suit, it'd mean a lot if you guys would subscribe. You are the gold man. <laughs> Thanks bro. Yes. Man. Thank you. Alright, man. I've spent several days and thousands of dollars on this suit, and everything has come down to this moment right here. It's time to see if my real-life Aquaman suit works just like it does in the movies. I could not believe this thing worked. I was literally flying underwater. It's so crazy to think that just a few days ago, I was watching the Aquaman movie, and now I'm actually swimming like Aquaman in real life. Oh, that is insane. I gotta get the trident. <laughs> Great. It honestly worked so well that when I tried to use the trident, it literally bent it in half because of how fast I was going. Well, I just made a real life freaking Aquaman suit. Comment down below what I should build next. It's so funny, I just checked last week's video and it hit 10,000 likes and Nick said if the video did hit 10,000 likes, he would hang the L up in his room. So let's go give it to him. I hate you. <laughs> it looks perfect there. I'm gonna go to a different room. 